As a child, you likely grew up consuming content and hearing stories about the wild world of Greek fraternities and sororities. You imagined what it would be like if you joined, having an instant group of friends to share college life with while finally living out from underneath your parents' roof for the first time. Yes, of course, you might participate in a little bit of irresponsibility at a toga party or get a little too tipsy from beer pong, but overall, it would be great. However, as you grew older, you started to read headlines about hazing and death. Now you're not quite sure what to think about Greek life. So let's explore. My purpose today is to persuade you to oppose the abolition of Greek life. I am someone in college who, like every student, must think about joining a college fraternity or sorority. So I've done the research on both the positives and negatives of Greek life. We all know someone who was in college or who's currently enrolled. It's important not to be blinded by the deficits of Greek life and abolish it. Instead, we must acknowledge the benefits of fraternities and sororities and fix the issues that come along with them. With that in mind, I will begin by discussing the problem, then examine some of the causes, and finally conclude by offering a solution. With our roadmap in place, let's begin with the problem. The problem is people are trying to abolish fraternities and sororities. For example, many colleges have already tried to abolish Greek life on campus. According to Dean of College's Handbook for Williams College, all students have been banned from participating in Greek life since 1962. And according to Fraternity and Sorority Overview from Colby College, Greek life has been banned since 1984. In the case of Williams College, they replaced it with a storm system that allows the college to be in control of all aspects of student life. A second example is the social media movement called Abolish Greek Life that's rampant on Instagram and calls for the abolition of fraternities and sororities. In one article written by Anne Denon in 2021 entitled Social Media Ignites Abolish Greek Life Movement, she explains the motivation for these social media advocates that are calling for the abolition of Greek life. There have been large groups of students dropping Greek life because of allegations of sexual assault, racism, classism, and sexism. No matter the cause, it is clear students feel Greek life needs to be changed or abolished because the system does not meet their expectations. With the problem in mind, let's examine a few of its causes. There are two primary causes for why people want to abolish Greek life. First, the belief that it causes hazing. According to a 2018 article titled Fraternity Hazing and the Process of Planned Failure, published in the Journal of American Studies by Aldo Semino, he describes the ordeals that pledges have to undergo. They have to eat disgusting food or perform physically strenuous tasks. Simply put, this is hazing. It's a retaliation used as a punishment when a pledge fails to complete a task given by the group. However, it doesn't stop there. Sometimes everyone loses and a pledge must participate in hazing to be accepted by the fraternity of sorority. However, hazing can be taken care of without abolishing Greek life. According to Stop Hazing Research Lab, from an article entitled Anti-Hazing Policy written in 2021, they urge for policies to be put in place that specifically ban hazing and shape positive group behavior with things like the REACH Act. This act creates a standard definition of hazing and puts support and education in place to recognize and prevent hazing. It requires reporting of hazing numbers by colleges and universities so that groups can be identified and helped. Second, people want to abolish Greek life because of the belief that it leads to an increase in drug and alcohol use. According to Sean McCabe, a substance abuse researcher and his co-authors in a book from 2005, Greek life organization members are at an increased likelihood to smoke and drink. They also found other risk behaviors that increase with Greek life membership, like the increase of binge drinking and marijuana usage. In other words, Greek life also means being involved in a culture of drug and alcohol use that is unhealthy for prospective members. However, substance abuse can be treated by targeting high-risk groups. According to a research article by Sean McCabe and his co-authors called Selection and Socialization Effects of Fraternity and Sorority on U.S. College Student Substance Use, a multi-cohort national longitudinal study, they propose that Greek life members are predisposed to drinking, and they show a high level of drinking and substance use in high school. Then, the Greek life culture socializes them into more drinking because of the importance of substance use socially. This suggests that there needs to be a heavy focus on treating substance use in both high school and colleges in order to prevent heavy substance use in Greek life. Now that we understand the problem and its causes, we can turn our attention to the solution. 
The solution is to support fraternities and sororities, and this solution offers two important benefits. The first benefit is that sororities and fraternities increase college satisfaction, retention, and graduation rates. According to two 2017 articles entitled A Quasi-Experimental Analysis of Fraternity or Sorority Membership and College Student Success, published by Nicholas Bowman and Joshua Holmes in the Journal of College Student Development, it states that a membership in sorority life equals a positive outcome for college satisfaction, GPA, and graduation requirements. And membership in a fraternity means that you have an increased college satisfaction and retention score. This means that sororities and fraternities have positive impacts on their membership, as seen in this graph. Students grouped with people of similar interests means that they can create friendships and connection in their group. The second benefit is that colleges, sororities, and fraternities increase connection for Black college students. As seen in the 2019 article entitled National Panhellenic Council Membership on the Predominantly White Yard, the development of sense of belonging and social capital for underrepresented students attending a predominantly white institution by Kimberly Vance, the Director of Fraternity and Sorority Life at Northern Kentucky University. Her dissertation states that belonging to a Black sorority in a predominantly white institution will help a student develop a sense of connection and belonging. By providing spaces for these students, we can help increase their overall school experience and the community that they can join that's built on mutual understanding and culture can help them feel represented. In order to help college students benefit from Greek life, let's review what we learned today. First, we learned that people are trying to abolish fraternities and sorority, which can be seen in the already abolishing of Greek life in Williams College and Colby College, as well as the social media movement entitled Abolish Greek Life. Next, we learned about two reasons why people want to abolish Greek life, such as the belief that it increases hazing. However, it's been proven that prevention systems like the REACH Act can stop hazing without the abolishment of fraternities and sororities. Another reason that we want, they want to abolish fraternities and sororities is the belief that membership in Greek life can increase drug and alcohol use. However, we covered that a lot of substance use in Greek life comes from people who use substances in high school, not directly caused by membership in a fraternity or sorority. Finally, we learned about how the solution, which is to support fraternities and sororities, has two important benefits. These two benefits increase the college satisfaction, retention, and graduation rates in Greek life membership, and increases the connectivity of Black college students who participate in Black Greek life. It's important that we acknowledge the movement to abolish Greek life is coming from a place of concern for the problems that exist within fraternities and sororities. However, I have proven that abolishment is not the correct answer. Greek life offers many benefits and there's ways to mitigate and eradicate problems that accompany it. That's why I will encourage all of you to think critically about this issue and help support sororities and fraternities so we can reform them into an organization that creates healthy support systems for college students to explore their identity and newfound freedom.